Hello, everyone. My name is Cora, just Cora, and I want to share with you my mysterious story about how day by day I'm getting younger. In my case, time is on my side. Every minute and every second fills me with beauty and energy. Actually, in my life, everything is really weird and confusing because I was born a very old and wrinkled granny. My mom says that during the first years, she even felt a bit uncomfortable raising me and teaching me something because she thought that I was many times older than she was. But when I was born, I gradually began to grow younger, which means that less and less people became bothered with my venerable age, or rather, my appearance. Gray hair is turning black every day, and this brings me nothing but pleasure. People around me say that while I looked as if I was about 80 or 90 years old when I was born, now no one thinks that I'm more than 70. This is the maximum. Usually, people think that I'm 60. I also notice these changes in my appearance, and I like my reflection in the mirror more and more. But let's get back to my birth. My parents were very scared when they saw me for the first time. Well, actually, everyone was frightened of me. Nobody remained indifferent to an elderly baby. And the problem is not only in the way I look, because in addition to this, I have the health of an elderly woman. But that begins to grow younger together with my appearance. According to my estimates, by the age of 60, I will recover completely and be full of vitality and energy. This is really interesting, isn't it? When stories about me were published in newspapers and magazines, there were even some people who wanted to abduct me. For the first time, this happened right in the maternity hospital. Some stranger wearing a doctor's white coat sneaked into the medical facility and tried to get me out of there, but I woke up and started crying loudly. Fortunately, nature has endowed me with a strong voice. My mother heard me crying and quickly ran to the place from where the sound was heard. It led her not to the ward at all, but far beyond it. In short, thanks to her maternal instinct, I was saved, but the mysterious stranger managed to escape so no one could find out who he was and what he wanted. The second time someone tried to abduct me was when I was less than one year old. In fact, the criminal was so bold and rude that he took me from my mother's hands right on the street. Can you imagine that? He was arrested and sent to a pre-trial detention center, but no one knew his motives because on the very first day after his arrest, he was killed. After that, my parents and I moved to another city as it was really uncomfortable to stay in the place where we felt that we were under constant surveillance. At first, it was quiet and calm in the new place. I continued to grow and get younger. My parents even relaxed and felt that we were kind of safe. But then there was the third attempt to abduct me. Sometime before this happened, one of the high school students decided to take pictures of me for fun and posted them on Instagram. I knew nothing about the fact that someone was taking photos of me. I got to know this only after the abduction when I was rescued. By the way, that girl turned out to be a famous blogger, and that is why the feed of her account was very noticeable. So at that time, I was six or seven years old. I was at school, and a group of armed men broke into the classroom right during the lesson. Under a gun, they ordered everyone to keep silent and stay where they were. Then they put me in some kind of bag and carried me away. Although they did not take into account that there was a bug in my pendant, which my parents foreseeingly placed there, and after 15 minutes, a group of special police arrested my captors. This time, they were placed under protection and put in separate cells where they stayed alone so there was no one who could kill them, and they had to tell everything because there was just no other choice. They said that there existed some secret community of gerontologists who were very interested in my phenomenon, and they believed that if they conducted some experiments on me, they would be able to find the key to eternal youth and even immortality. But for this, they would need me, and they promised a $100,000 reward to anyone who would be able to kidnap and bring me to them. 
Well, it was a good offer for those who needed money, especially since gerontologists themselves were hoping to get billions of dollars after they learned the secret of eternal life thanks to me. Tricky, greedy, and smart loafers. Of course, no one managed to find that secret community, which meant that I needed to continue to protect myself from them. You know, it's really scary to constantly be in fear and expect something bad from every stranger. But that was not my only problem. The second problem was very tense relationships with my classmates and actually with everyone. People despised me for my appearance and constantly laughed at me. This hurt so much. Even when all of my classmates were preparing dance performances for the school holidays, I was never invited to participate because my appearance was not appropriate for this. I was on stage just one time in my life when I played the role of Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother in one of the performances. And I really wanted to be a princess or Snow White at least once in my life. It is impossible to describe how disgusting I felt. But once, someone told my classmates the following when they were making fun of me again. Now you can laugh at her, but after 30 years, she will laugh at you because you will be standing in front of the mirrors and feel so sad looking at new wrinkles while Cora will enjoy her daily rejuvenation. And it dawned on me that this was indeed so. I just had to be patient for some time and then I would become prettier, more beautiful, and younger. It is not for nothing that they say that he laughs best who laughs last. After that, my classmates became more lenient towards me, and I started being proud of my uniqueness. Once, guys from the intelligence agency came to our home and said that the gerontologists changed the amount of remuneration for me. They increased the sum by five times. In addition, they did not have the requirement of taking me alive anymore. They would be okay with getting me, well, you know, in any form. It turned out that they had done some research and realized that it was enough for them to have my cells to create the elixir of eternal youth. The news was horrifying and shocking. It turns out that the danger had increased significantly for me and I needed to do something urgently. There was only one option. My parents and I had to give up everything, break family as well as friendship ties, and start a new life on another continent where no one would know us. There was no time for reflection at all because my life was at stake. We had to take action as soon as possible, so my parents and I temporarily turned off our emotions and feelings. It took us two days to pack our belongings. We did not even have time to figure out and understand anything. We realized the scale of the problem much later and took it very hard, but I won't get into that now. In a new place, I underwent plastic surgery, which made me look 40 years younger. But at the same time, my hands remained old and wrinkled, so I will have to wear gloves until I become young completely. And for my new classmates, I've come up with a story that once I got burned in the fire, so now my hands are so scary and ugly that I cannot show them to anyone. I am hiding under clothes all the other parts of my body, except my face. That is, even when it is completely hot outside, I wear pants and long sleeve sweatshirts. Now I have a great relationship with my classmates. I began to get used to living here, and I hope that my secret will still remain a secret for all my new friends. The only unresolved issue is that it always seems to me that someone is constantly watching me and I am about to be abducted. I shy away from all strangers and passing cars. I suspect that classmates and even teachers are in collusion with gerontologists, and I am afraid that I will have to hide again. I am afraid that cameras will capture me again because I started looking younger, but my appearance has not changed, and if suddenly one of the criminals sees my current photo, they will immediately recognize me. I have to be very careful and prudent. Sometimes I want to make friends and communicate closely with someone from my class, but I have to keep distance because any friend can set me up without even intending to do it. I think that after 20 years, I will look my age or slightly older than this, and then I'll be able to finally blend into my surroundings and I'll not have to be so suspicious and constantly worry that there can be enemies and traitors around me. And I am also thinking about how I can realize myself in the future, if it is possible at all. I think I would be able to create my own brand as well as a line of anti-aging cosmetics and serve as a top model there. 
But the gerontologists are on the alert, and I'm sure that they are surfing the net around the clock searching for my traces all over the world. This means that I should try to find myself in another area doing something that does not involve publicity. I think it will be difficult, and there are still many crises ahead of me. Would you like to be forever young? How would you take this opportunity? Give your answers in the comments. I will read them, and maybe I will be able to draw from them something really valuable for myself. Do not forget to click on the thumbs up button under this video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to be the first to watch new stories.